uh, Manahil from Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum salam to Allah. Um, Sheikh, I am facing one of the biggest problem of my life right now, and that is doubting Islam, not waswasa, actually doubting. And I don't know how this started. It just started with this question that came popped up in my mind that um, Allah knew everything, what was going to happen before he created the universe. So why would he create the disbelievers if he knew they were going to hell? And I know Sheikh asking this question is so wrong and doubting Islam is kufr and a, a sign is kufr. Okay, I, I understand you. Manahel, listen, because we don't have a lot of time. First of all, I would highly recommend that you book a counseling session with me if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, then also try to book and we as, uh, allocate a free uh, uh, counseling session for those who are poor and needy and can't afford it. Secondly, why would Allah create the disbelievers if he knows that they're going to be thrown in hell? Why not? The creation is his. If he throws them all in hell, who can complain or object? This is Allah's creation. These all belong to Allah Azza wa Jal. So we trust Allah's knowledge. We trust Allah's fairness and uh, 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 being uh, um, uh, uh, knowledgeable and capable. We trust that Allah owns everything and Allah does not do any injustice. If you believe this, then you believe that whatever goes into hell, it is because of Allah's justice and knowledge and mercy. They chose this for themselves. Allah knew what they were going to do. And Allah gave them the way out. And Allah showed them the way out. But they insisted. And I'll conclude with this because we're out of time. Satan was ordered to prostrate to Adam. And he refused out of arrogance and envy. And he said, I'm better than him. Allah destined him to hell. So instead of asking for forgiveness, he said, well, if you destined me to hell, give me time so that I would set them astray. Allah gave him time till the day of judgment. Now let me ask you this question. Does shaitan, does Satan know that if he were to seek Allah's forgiveness and ask for repentance today, that Allah would forgive him? Yes or no? Of course. If he asks Allah for forgiveness and repents, Allah will forgive him. What's holding him back? You tell me. So he doesn't want to. He has the means. This is the way out. He doesn't want to. So try your level best to block these thoughts and trust Allah and think positively of Allah and you will be safe with the grace of Allah. With this, we come to the end of our today's session.